What's up, guys? Welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook, Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince and ruler of all lemon pepper wings. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but you can click that link above me and I can show you guys how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Hooter style wings. This is my copycat recipe, guys. I know some people like me, I always get the urge to have some Hooter wings. And the reason why is because Hooters has a signature original flavor, which I really, really like. Now, I wouldn't go to Hooters to eat their lemon pepper, nothing else, no other type of chicken wing on their menu because I am the wing king. But they do have their own original sauce, so I do like it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this in the comfort of your own home. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, guys, so here are the ingredients we're going to use for today's recipe. It's not many ingredients. I know you guys thought that Hooters put a whole lot into those delicious chicken wings, but they really don't. But the outcome is always good. I do like Hooters wings. So let me tell you what I have here. I have our chicken. We have flour. We have some smoked paprika. You can use smoked paprika or sweet paprika. It doesn't matter. Cayenne pepper. We're going to use some butter, black pepper. Uh, some hot sauce. You can use any uh, type of hot sauce you want. Uh, you can use, I don't suggest you use uh, the Frank's uh, uh, hot sauce only because Frank's hot sauce has a lot of um, butter in it already. So we're already going to use butter. So I'm going to use some of this Louisiana, black pepper, garlic powder, and some sea salt. So these are the ingredients we're going to use. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here are all our ingredients. I've already cut and cleaned our chicken, so let me tell you what we have here. I have three-fourths cups of butter. Of course, I have my chicken here. That's about a pound and a half to two pounds. I have two, one and a half cups of flour. I have a, a half a cup of hot sauce. I have two teaspoons of salt, uh, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of garlic powder. So these are the ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start preparing our flour. So I'm going to just take my paprika. No, no particular order. Add it along with my cayenne pepper and my salt. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mix this like this. All right, so this is what we have. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to prepare our chicken. I'm going to call it preparing it because even though we're going to coat our chicken in the flour, I still like to put some type of seasoning on my chicken. So I'm just going to use some all-purpose uh, adobo seasoning. I mean, you can use regular salt if you want or some seasoned salt. You know that Lyris, if y'all want to use that Lyris. And what I'm going to do... It's about, this is about a teaspoon, and that just gives the chicken some flavor, and I'm just going to mix it up like this. I always like my meat to have some flavor on it, whether I'm coating it with some sauce or with some seasoned flour. I still like the meat itself to have some flavor when I bite into it, so I know it's weird, but it works for me, all right? So, so now what we're going to do now, we're going to take our flour and we're going to pour it into here with our wings. And this is what we're going to do. I mean, you could do a little shaky bakey, but what you want to do is you want to get them all coated up. And you can use your hands if you want. It's your food, your family. All right. So you want to make sure that these are very well coated. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this up. And I'm going to place it in the refrigerator for about an hour to an hour and a half. This will help the, um, the coating stick to your meat while frying. Now, of course, you can completely omit this step if you want to. But this is how I make my Hooters copycat wings. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. 
All right, guys, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to start preparing our Hooters sauce, the famous sauce that got all us addicted to Hooters, with those who like Hooters. So we're going to start about adding our butter. Get that melted. Remember that it's three-fourths cups of butter. butter. And we're going to start getting this bad baby melted down. All right, so now that we've got our butter almost melted, let's go ahead and add our hot sauce. We're gonna add our pepper, and we're gonna add that uh, garlic powder. All right, and we're not gonna turn this down because we don't want to boil it. We just want to combine it. Like again, we don't want to we don't want to cook it on boil. We just want to let it simmer for about three to five minutes. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. So now our sauce has been simmering for about five minutes. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna add it to the bowl here. Like this, let me let me turn this off. We're gonna add that to the bowl, and we're gonna reserve this until the wings are done. Look at that famous sauce. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's time to put these bad babies in the fryer. So I'm gonna let you take a look at them. You see, by putting them in the the refrigerator, see how we got that it has a, a a a nice clean coat on it. That's why it's good to put them in the refrigerator at least about an hour, if not you know, 45 minutes if you got time minimum before you drop them in a fryer. This really helps. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and drop these bad babies in. And I'm going to leave these bad babies in here to cook for about, these are pretty small wings, so I'll probably do them for about, you know, seven to seven to eight minutes. But again, we all know that once it starts to rise that the chicken is done but you want that internal temperature around 165. All right, guys, so this is what we have. I left them in there for about 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put them on my cooling rack and I'm going to slide them in the oven while I, and let them continue to, you know, stay warm while I drop my um, second batch. All right, so we're gonna drop this second batch on down. And again, I'm going to let these cook here, too, for about 10 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're done with our second batch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these bad babies transferred over to our cooling rack. And I'm going to let you guys take a look at them, and then we're going to continue with the recipe. All right, guys, so this is what we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these bad babies um, into our bowl. All right, look at that, guys. All right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to take our sauce that we made, and of course, I'm just going to start dropping that sauce on there like that. All right, so now we're going to cover it up, and you already know, we're just going to do a little shake it, bake it, shake it, bake it, bake it, bake it. Shake it, shake it, guys. Roll the lid. And this is what we have. All right, so let me get these bad babies plated up, and I'll be right back. And there you have it, guys. My copycat-style Hooters wings. Guys, you know I'm the wing king. So chances are my Hooters wings are better than Hooters wings. You know, I'm just, I mean, come on, guys. I'm the wing king. But guys, this looks delicious. I love Hooters wings. Hooters has a distinct uh, sauce that I really love. I think it's great and I would not go to Hooters to get lemon pepper wings. That I would not do. That is like blasphemy, guys. So if you want the ingredients and the measurements, they are in the video description below. So go ahead, check it out. And if you need any of these items, I did link them in the video description below also. Get that All Wings Everything merch. I appreciate everybody who support me by buying that merch. Now, before I go, I'm going to go ahead and try one of these bad babies out for you just so you can uh, hear what I think about them. Look at that. That's one thing I like about these um, these new Whole Food Wings is that, look, how, I like the smaller wings. I know some people like those big ones, but I like the smaller size. But let me taste this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is great. Next time I make these, 
I'm going to order some Huda wings, and I'm going to eat them side by side. And we're going to see who wins the taste test. So, and until then, guys, I'm your cook, Spinelli. You're in my kitchen enjoying these delicious recipes. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so before I end this video. Click that like button, thumbs up. Guys, go to my Instagram page. Follow me on Instagram. Also, go to my Facebook page. Like me on Facebook. All this helps. The Wing King. And it doesn't cost you anything. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I am out. Peace.